So, what's my job for the night? I am cleaning up my carb a little bit. I've already blown it out and cleaned it inside. So I'm not going to go into the details of cleaning the whole carb out and everything else because there's a million videos on YouTube that can show you that. Um, I'm really just documenting it for myself for my bike videos, but I thought I'd show you anyway. This is original and it's quite dirty. So I've just got my little Dremel out with a little brass brush and I'm trying to clean up as much as I can here. And then I'll probably get my little um, polishing sponges there and I'll try and polish it up a little bit just to make it look better. And um, I know it's clean inside, but I do have a rebuild kit here uh, with, along with some seals for the bike, kickstart and the like of that. So I'm, I'm going to be doing all that while I'm waiting on this valve to come. But um, this is a rebuild kit and I'm going to change all the seals on this just to make sure that it's good. This is one of the old ones Matt taken out and I've put the new one in and it's sitting proud of it at this stage. So I really believe there was a bit of air getting in the last while when I was trying to start it and that so this will help. For that, that's all I'm up for now. So I'll give you a little look whenever I'm done. So after a little bit of time with my trusty Dremel tool here, well, it's like a cheap version of that, but they're really handy. If you don't have one, get one. They're very useful. Um, after a little while with that, I've managed to clean the carb up pretty good, as you'll see. Still a little bit of dust inside there I have to get. I was blowing it out, so just to make sure, a bit of staining. Um, I've changed it to some of the new pieces. This is a new float. That's the old one, which is totally different mechanism. Um, the old one held the pin in here. And the new one works differently, and it has a slide. That holds it and to be honest with you I'm not sure that it's going to be much better I've tried to set it I hope I've set it right if not I'll have to go back to the old system although it was sticking a bit so that's my only concern Um, as you can see I kept the old main jet because I couldn't read the size on it and I don't know if the one with the came with the kits the right size I think it says 95 or something so I did replace the pilot jet and the air screw um, I replaced the seal which seemed to be a bit skinnier than the old one but I think it may just be because it's been on the bike for so long and it's just got crushed and it seems to be good enough looks like it's gonna seal it up sitting proud of it so it'll squeeze it and while I was blowing it out I lost this seal and I had one in the shed which was close but not buying on the right size so I'm hoping that that's gonna seal it up and it'll work with a bit of luck if not it's back to the drawing board so that's where I am that's how far I've got on and Next time you see this, it's probably going to be on the bike. So, so the little Dremel tool is brilliant. Um, you got your little polishing wheels and things like that. I was running over it with a bit of polish there. Things, there's areas I couldn't get into, but you know I done my best with it, and it looks a lot better than it did. It's it's a lot cleaner. Okay, so that's the carburetor for now guys so there you go guys a totally rebuilt Japanese original Kahin carburetor cleaned it as best I could um, so there you go 
you can just see on it um where did i know it yeah here all the top marks because <laughs> it must have been sticking the needle must have been sticking and somebody was walloping it with the screwdriver or something so <laughs> um i'm going to keep the older bits that i took out of it just in case i have to revert back to them these are a couple of little bits that was left this might be for the cap so I might change it, but these are a couple of little bits that was left. I know that this piece goes down in the center of it for the needle, but um, I don't feel that I need it, and I need to go to the trouble of taking that out. So I'm just leaving it. I don't know what the seal this little washer's for. That was the main jet that I didn't put in. The big uh, this springs kind of confused me where it goes because um, I didn't see a spot on this carburetor. But then this carburetor is just ever so slightly different than the kit that was given to me. But it's the closest I could get to this one carburetor. So as you can see, it's an accelerator pump carb as well. So it's good and clean now. And my only worry is that when I go to put the petrol in, the needle's going to stick or it's not going to close. So that's why I'm keeping this float and this needle. Um, even though the needle's looking in rough shape. That's all I can do for now. So, there you go.